Consider the op-amp circuit shown here. We're told the op-amp is ideal. Our job has two parts. First, derive the closed loop gain. Then, if the input is 2 volts, find the output current. This is a classic setup. The op-amp is in a closed loop with negative feedback, and the input goes to the non-inverting terminal, the one with the little plus sign. In other words, it's a non-inverting amplifier. Quick clarification before we dive in. Don't mistake the voltage source in the diagram for the op-amp's power supply. In real life, op-amps run from dual rails, one positive, one negative. But those aren't shown here. The source labeled VS is just the input signal. If not inverting amplifiers are new to you, no stress. We've got a full tutorial linked in the description. Let's solve it from scratch. First, label the nodes and branch currents. Call the voltage at the inverting input, V1. The bottom node is ground, so that's zero volts. Name the branch currents, I1, I2, I3, I4, and I5. We're told the op-amp is ideal. With an ideal op-amp, in a negative feedback configuration, whether inverting or non-inverting, we can use the two golden rules. Golden rule one, no current flows into the op-amp inputs. So I1 equals zero amps and I2 equals zero amps. If I2 is zero, the same current must flow through the 40 kilo ohm and the 5 kilo ohm resistor in that feedback path. That means I4 equals I5. That's our first relationship. Golden rule two, with negative feedback, the op-amp drives its output until the inverting and non-inverting inputs sit at the same voltage. So V1 equals Vs. That's our second relationship. With those relationships in place, we can now calculate the gain. Let's start with the first one. I4 equals I5. Looking at the circuit, I4 is the current through the 40 kilo ohm resistor. By Ohm's law, current is just the voltage difference across the resistor divided by its resistance. So, I4 equals VO minus V1 over 40K. Similarly, I5 is the current through the 5 kilo ohm resistor. That's V1 minus 0 over 5K. Since I4 and I5 are equal, we can set those two expressions equal to each other. Solving gives us VO equals 9 times V1. And from the second relationship, we know V1 equals Vs. Substituting, we get VO equals 9Vs. That's our third relationship. So, the closed loop gain is VO over Vs, which equals 9. That means the input is amplified by a factor of 9. That's the answer to the first part of the problem. Now for the second part of the problem. If Vs is 2 volts, what is the output current? From our earlier relationship, VO equals 9 times Vs. So with Vs equals 2 volts, VO comes out to 18 volts. Let's look back at the circuit. At the output node, the total output current IO splits into two paths, I3 through the 20 kilo ohm resistor and I4 through the feedback network. By Kirchhoff's current law, IO equals I3 plus I4. Let's write those currents. For I3, the current goes through the 20 kilo ohm resistor, so it's VO minus zero over 20K. For I4, the current flows through the 40 kilo ohm and the 5 kilo ohm resistors in series. We can combine them into a single 45 kilo ohm resistor, which makes I4 equal to VO minus zero over 45K. So the total output current IO is VO over 20K plus VO over 45K. Now substitute VO equals 18 volts. Solving gives an output current of about 1.3 milliamps. And that's it. We've derived the closed loop gain and calculated the output current through the load. A neat little exercise, and definitely the kind of problem you'll often see on exams. If you found this breakdown helpful, make sure to hit the like button. It really helps the channel. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on more clear, step-by-step -step explanations of electronics and other science topics. Got questions or a tricky circuit you'd like us to cover? Drop it in the comments. We love hearing from you.